Hey everyone. One of you recently asked me how to deal with passive aggressive people, so this video will be my response. And the first thing I want to talk about here is if possible, what you want to do primarily is just spend less time around these people. So I know for the most part that won't always be the case because quite often the passive aggressive people could be family members or coworkers or that sort of thing where you can't quite avoid them. So in those cases, if you can't cut them out of your life completely, then at least just try to spend less time around them as much as possible. If they're a coworker, then only be around them when you actually need to work with them on a task or if you need their help or that sort of thing. And otherwise, stay away from them. <laughs> Don't hang out with them outside of work and that sort of thing. If they're a family member, then try to avoid them as much as possible as well. But in that case, it will be a bit harder, especially if you live with them. So for the most part, in those cases where you can't completely avoid them, then at least start practicing some of these later things that I'll talk about. But I'll just summarize them here. The first thing I'll get into is you pretty much want to call people out on their behavior if they're passive aggressive. And another thing you'll want to do is just practice extra self-care since you're dealing with these people and they're inevitably going to be kind of draining on you. So you want to make sure that you're able to recharge outside of their presence so that they don't bring you down. So jumping into calling them out on their behavior, this will require some confidence. So if you don't have that, I Ah, I just realized actually I, I need, I've been meaning to remake a previous video I did on how to become more confident and I'll do that shortly within the near future because uh, I actually have done a few videos on confidence but they're pretty out of date but you can still watch them just know that <laughs> the setup is not as high quality as my videos are now and even now they're not super high quality but I have made that video so you can definitely check that out if need be otherwise no, I'll make a more recent video in the near future on confidence. But you basically need enough confidence to call them out on their behavior because passive aggressive people will only do that as long as they can get away with it. Well, I mean, even if you call them out, they will probably still do it, but at least to a lesser degree and they'll know that you're not going to put up with their BS anymore. So it's very important that you don't tolerate that behavior. If somebody's being passive aggressive to you, tell them, say, hey, that's not cool. You're being passive aggressive with me. I recognize that. Don't do that. I don't appreciate it. It's not cool. You need to call them out because the more you do that, you're basically setting a boundary for the way you want other people to treat you. And if somebody's being a passive aggressive, <laughs> I wasn't going to use more strong language here, but <laughs> if they're just being basically like that, then you have to set boundaries and show them that you're not going to put up with that behavior because you shouldn't. So stand up for yourself and say that you do not appreciate them treating you in that way and that you don't like this passive aggressive behavior because it's really childish and immature. So that's how you basically can stop that behavior if you have the confidence to do so. And I hope that you do. And if not, then check out some of those previous videos or wait for the future video that I'll, I'll tackle on that subject. But anyway, now onto the next thing. You need to up your self-care. You need to do things that you enjoy doing. You need to basically recharge because passive aggressive people are going to bring you down. And the more that you're around them, if you're unable to distance yourself from them, then you need to take this even more seriously. Your mental health is, is something that you should prioritize. And when you're dealing with passive aggressive people, you definitely need to make it your focus because yeah, like I said before, they're going to bring you down. It's just, it's one of those things where nobody likes dealing with people who are like that because passive aggressive people are just uh, very immature and it's just, it's not fun to be around them. So you need to focus on recharging when you're away from them. If you live with passive aggressive people, then go outside, get, a, get outside of the house as much as possible and do things with friends or on your own that you enjoy doing. Or if you're unable to leave, then at least Find a way to be secluded in your room where you can do what you want. If you're able to close the door without your parents getting mad at you for the case where one of your parents are passive aggressive, then do that as much as you can. And if not, then just try to get out of that environment. And if it's with coworkers, well, there's not all that much you can do. As I said before, you kind of just want to only deal with those people when you have to. 
but if they talk crap about you behind your back and that sort of thing, just ignore them. Realize that their opinion of you doesn't mean anything because they're a shitty person anyway. So just don't listen to their, their diatribe. Just let it go in one ear and out the other. And then when you get home, just do the things that help you de-stress from work and from the craziness of the passive aggressive person. So those are pretty much your goals to either stay away from them, cut them out of your life if you can. If not, then at least call them out on their behavior and say that that's not cool. And then the last thing, of course, is just to take better care of yourself because they're going to take a toll on your mental health and you need to basically account for that and make sure that you recharge when you're able to. So anyway, I hope these tips have helped you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!